because we experience life so close to each other that our minds, our visual minds, the images, the, our conversations, we can have a conversation with each other and not even speak. Physically, uh, I feel we're different, but emotionally, mentally, we, we're exactly the same. We share an identity, and I mean, that's what God has given us. He's, he split us in two. And, I mean, I won't question that at all. I'm actually quite, quite chuffed about it. My fondest memories were of my brother because uh, how lucky was I to have an, another brother to, to play with who liked the same things and we always wanted things to be shared amongst us and if it wasn't, it would break out in a fight but always end in apologies. <laughs> we were very close growing up and we also grew up in a, in a close community. We used to be very proud of our drawings and we used to go and run to the neighbours and I mean we were about nine. 10 years old and we were sketching Garfield and Marvel characters and superheroes and also to, to charm the girls, you know, used to make some pretty drawings there and like slide it to them. <laughs> the first day of grade 10, um, the, the teachers, there were about three teachers there and they asked the 40 students, whoever doesn't want to be here, put up your hands. And Hussein and I were the only two out of that whole class that chose to put up our hands and immediately they said, put down your hands. And we're like, no, but we don't want to be here. We want to do art. The, the root to our inspiration is our belief and it is the religion of Islam. It's 100% it's of you. And art itself is something very similar. So the tooth kind of morphed itself that in, influence the other. Being artists, uh, we do have a responsibility to make a statement, to, to, to have an opinion, be it the, the Palestinian it is Israeli issue, be it the, the inner struggle of Western society and, and, and uh, your way of life. The main places that affected me obviously were the holy cities of uh, Makkah and Medina, but also Palestine. When we decided to change our method of shooting, it basically took us roughly two years to prepare. And uh, yeah, I told us, look, if we're going to do this, this is what we're setting out to do. We're going to um, go to these holy sites. We only have a 20 minute window and we need to set ourselves um, and practice and practice to get ourselves to shoot within that 20 minute frame. Yeah, I'm teaching at uh, Rondo Bosch Boys High School. Um, I'm teaching arts and culture grade eight and grade nine. And I teach at Weinberg Boys High School and I teach visual arts grade nine to grade 12. So imagine the tip of the iceberg as the conscious. For me, it keeps me on my toes. It keeps, makes me a better person, a better artist. There's some kind of feeling of, of joy, having um, learners around you and, and hanging to, to every word that you say, and actually walking away at the end of it saying, wow, thank you so much, you've taught me something. It's that feeling of, of, of seeing um, other Standard Bank young artists, winners, and, and and looking at the covers and, and thinking one day, can I reach such a level in my career? The National Arts Festival in Grahamstown, uh, they were major contributing people to South African art. In the media and when you are referred to, after if you won the, yeah. the, the competition, yeah. you've always referred to, to as, as the Standard Bank Young, young Artist Award winner. Yeah. <laughs>